Now in the last lesson, we got an overview of what data structures are and why they are important to us. So in this lesson, I want to take you one step further and look at algorithms. What's an algorithm? One definition might be a set of steps to accomplish a task. Let's look at the previous example that we gave for data structures in which we organize wooden items. So if we want to use these organized wooden items for flooring, we need to accomplish several steps. The first step is choosing flooring, which color that we are going to use. Then we need to purchase it and bring it to home. And the next step is prepare subflooring. And the next thing that you need to do, you need to determine the layout of flooring in the space. Finally, we trim the door casing and our floor is ready. So as you see, we have completed a set of steps to accomplish our task of flooring. So here our data is wooden items. First, we structured them. Then we completed the steps, which is set of rules as mentioned in the definition of algorithm. Now you have a clear understanding of what's an algorithm. Every day during our daily lives, we use algorithms to execute our duties. You might have an algorithm for getting from home to work. First, you need to go to bus stop, then take bus, then go to the office. Or for buying a coffee from Starbucks, you need to go to Starbucks and pay for the coffee and get the coffee. The tasks that we perform during the day are all algorithms. So here, I want you to pause the video and comment below what algorithms are you performing during the day. Okay, hopefully you pause the video and comment below about your algorithms. In computer science, an algorithm is set of rules for computer program to accomplish a task. Learning about different types of algorithms and knowing when to apply them allows us to write time and memory efficient programs. Let's look at few famous algorithms that are used by big companies. You might be interested how the Google and Facebook transmit live video across the internet. The answer is they are using audio and video compression algorithms to transmit live videos. Or you might be interested which algorithm is used to find the shortest path on the map. These are graph algorithms that are used in Google, Apple, and Microsoft's maps to find shortest paths between two locations. Algorithms are used in space exploration as well. Optimization and scheduling algorithms are used by NASA to arrange solar panels on the International Space Station. So by getting deep knowledge about existing algorithms and applying the right one can make our programs faster. It's also important to know how to design new algorithms as well as how to analyze their correctness and efficiency. There are two criteria to make good algorithms. The first one is algorithm solve the problem correctly and the second one is it does it so efficiently. So all in all, in this video we have learned what an algorithm is and how different types of them are used by famous companies. In the next video, we will look at why data structures and algorithms are important and why famous companies ask questions related to data structure and algorithms during interview from the candidates.